Uh, there we go. I'm just going to capture again. All right. So we have Freddy Fish 1, the case of the missing kelp seeds. Let's have a look. Thanks for getting the flowers, Sam. That's your thing, Freddy. They're wonderful. It is indeed go time. Gotta go, Sam. <laughs> Bye, Freddy. Whoa! No, the quality wise is pretty good for 94. Hi Jason, want a flower? Sure. Wow. Thank you. Where are you going, Freddy? I'm bringing why flowers is the, to Grandma Grouper. Why does and that fish look like Pot Pot though? <laughs> you too. Bye. Bye. Grandma Grouper, here's a flower for you. Yeah, that's a pretty good house for a fish, I'm not gonna lie. What's wrong, Grandma Grouper? Someone took my treasure chest. Grandma, your treasure chest that holds all the kelp seeds? Yes, Freddy. Look at the garden. It's dying. <gasps> <laughs> Until we find <laughs> my treasure chest, we kelp. have no food. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. Oh, thank you, Freddy. Here's my last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich for your journey. What? Good luck, Freddy. Don't worry, Grandma Grouper. I'll find your kelp seeds. Well, it's going to be one soggy sandwich, considering this is presumably all meant to be underwater. Oh, yeah, so standard humongous fare. Oh, that was terrifying. Okay, click on stuff. Interact, I guess. Hello, Freddy. The kelp treasure is still missing. <laughs> I'm so I'm disappointed going to in you. I'm your kelp seeds, Grandma Grouper. Good luck, Freddy. Goodbye, Grandma Grouper. Don't interrupt me again. I'm doing old people stuff. Hi, Luther. What are you doing? I'm trying to swim a loop de loop. Ow! There may be something wrong with this fish. Look, look might have an in you never know, it might be like an infected swim ladder or something. Yeah, I might actually just um, turn this down quickly because she's a bit loud on the, the thing. That seems a bit okay. That's better. I'm gonna be rich when I find that treasure. <laughs> the green fish has the same eyes as me dead inside. We have some dull signs, that's kind of your eyes as well. If we don't find them soon, all the fish are going to die. I'll help you find them, Freddy. Alright. We found the purple sea urchin. Oh, that was something we needed? What's in the thing? To find Grandma Grouper's treasure chest, go near the beach. Go to the beach, apparently. Okay. What? Huh? Okay. Um, how do we get to the beach, though? Oh, I'm just doing explore. No. Oh. Well, there's not much interactivity in this one. I heard this one is for like literal toddlers. Here, Maybe somebody else found the poison. <laughs> Maybe somebody else found it first. <laughs> That's you. That's what you sound like. Of course, found it first, you spongehead. Come on, we gotta find that bottle. Oh, we're shark bait. But boys, isn't that cannibalism if you shark, shark bait being sharks? What? Okay, anyway. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's very clear on where you're meant to be going because of these giant ass signs. Oh, sharks actually do resort to cannibalism. Okay. Did not know that. Yeah, there seems to be plenty of kelp in here going by the fish. 
Um, I don't know what this way is. Let's have a look. Oh, the scuba tank. Random junk. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's random. Fair enough. Oh, there's like nothing here though. That's okay. Fair enough. Moving on. Gabby, mommy is coming. <laughs> um, I'm stuck. Let me think. Maybe if you lost a little weight, you might have fit. Oh, we just help him. Okay. A common thing in tiger sharks is that the shark babies eat each other in utero until only a few remain. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Luther. Don't mention it. Gabby, my little guppy is stuck yeah, I honestly don't know much about sharks. I know the last time I went to the aquarium, I learned about grey nurse sharks. They showed off. The eggs are weird on sharks. They're like a weird, like, spiral shape. We'll help, Gabby. Oh, so we just go in and save the, um, the small child. This better not, this kid better not be as fat as this bitch. Otherwise, we're gonna have trouble getting through it, getting through the hole. Oh, trapped Ready, under a rock. Luther, I'm stuck under this rock. Please help me. I know, like, I'm three stuck. facts about sharks what and the one fact about a do? dolphin. Specifically, the dolphin they did experiments on by teaching it how to do sign language and giving it meth, and all it would sign is for hand jobs from its female trainer. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. <laughs> what a beautiful show! Hello, <laughs> don't bother saving the dude. He's already dead. Well, give us the fucking plank. Please help me. Okay. I'm still stuck. Yeah, we know. Don't worry, Gabby. We just need to find a bigger board to pry the rock off your fin. Why don't you give us the board and we use it? You're not gonna have any strength, like, levering it doing that. Did you find my guppy? Gabby's stuck, but he's okay. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, relatively okay. He'll probably be dead within the next few days, but you know. We'll, we'll, we'll sort him out. Alright! We found a bottle! Let's get crunk. The note says, go to the junkyard. We found another clue to the kelp treasure, Luther. Okay, so we're going to find the things, the clues, before we go we treasure found hunting? another purple sea urchin. Oh yeah, from what I gather, the, um, the sea urchins are currency. I've seen a little bit of this, like, LP'd by someone else. It's a wooden board. We're getting fun idol animations from these two. I hope we find the treasure soon. No. Where's the next bottle? Ready? It's at the junkyard. Oh, okay. And we have little conversations with each other. I don't know why it seems like they're short on kelp. There seems to be plenty floating around. Oh, look at that boy. That's some decent burpins. Some good burpins. Anyway. Oh, we went... Oh, gee, boys. I thought we were going back to save the child. I don't know why you hid all those bottles. I put clues in the bottles so I could find my way back to where I hid the kelp treasure. Well, if you can't find that treasure chest, you're gonna have to answer to the squid father. Please, boss. Not the squid father. Squid father. I'll clear okay. him up, spongehead. Fair enough. What a Ooh. pretty pearl! Let's go I get just, it! But ready, how are we gonna get through the net to get the pearl? Squid father, yeah, yeah. Hi, Ray! <laughs> you can't get through the shrimp net yeah. unless you got... It's not even close to super duper sharks. Duper 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 but you can't get the super duper 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 polygizmo unless you give me a clock. Where are we gonna get a clock? Look in the junkyard. Yeah, right. Can we have this key, though? It's a key. I wonder what it will unlock. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll jam it at every hole until we unlock something, I suppose. Um, guess back this way. 
Also, why are the sharks A, Italian-esque, B, in some sort of fish mafia, C, evil? This is some stereotyping. This is true. Could have done any other nationality on sharks, but they chose, you know, like I'm Italian so mafia sad. guys. Please help me. They're presumably evil? Alright, well, we use the board to save the fish, I guess. Shooter, come help! Oh, we broke Yay! the board. Though. High fives! Mommy! Gabby! My Gabby! Thank you both! You're welcome, Mr. Salad. We'll get an item Please for that. We don't work for free. For oh, we just get money. Okay. Hey, Mrs. Halibut. Fish money. Sure. Gotta get them fish dollars. Right, so there was a... I guess there's a pier up here? The beach is up there. Yeah, wasn't there a clue at the beach? Oh, okay. Um, What's going on here? Fish bunks, fish box to put in the fish bank so the fish mafia can do a fish heist. This is true. Um, don't know why we left, but anyway. Uh, oh, did we find a secret mini game? Is that what's going on? buckets of jellyfish to feed the animals. I'll toss the jellyfish to the hungry animals and you can keep track, Luther. Ready to go? Okay. It's feeding time! Guess we'll play a little mini game. Oh, it's just weird. Oh, it's fucking Tempest again. It's sort of... Oh, not quite Tempest. Like the little half maps you get. Also, I count down until the sharks in the Italian fish mafia use the word clams to refer to something. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see if they do or not. All right, Freddy! You still have three buckets of jellyfish left. We can leave when the arrow flashes. Get ready, Freddy! Yeah, Those no. turtles look hungry. No, I'm not, I'm not sitting here feeding the bloody sea life. Bloody turtles can feed themselves. Apparently, uh, we apparently had to click before the between rounds. So, okay. <clears throat> I mean, it's well animated, I'll give it that. But... Tell them about, got better things to do at that time. We gotta spend all our hard earned sea urchins. You, you did great, Freddy! Great, alright. No, I didn't want to do another round. Oh, they're coming thick and fast now. I just want to get out of here. Just. Yeah, isn't this gonna throw off the ecosystem? Like. Because they do that, like all the turtle babies, out of the 10-15 turtle babies they have, only go, one normally Freddy. survives to adulthood. You have all three that yeah, was great. Fun, Freddy. It sure was. Oh, is that what happens if the turtles get to you and it just eats one of your buckets of thing? Yeah, we need some some of that fucking seed linguine. Need the, need the urchins for that shit. Yeah, let's never do that again. It's got to be fun stuff to click on around here, like this, uh, oh! Random. Go fishing. Oh, it's the, the old, the old boot fish, I guess. Okay. Oh, let's see what this guy wants. Fiddler crab, what's wrong? I would gladly give you my uh, fishing no. hole if you could please get me out of this cage. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a fiddler crab in a cage. This key should get you out of the cage, fiddler crab. Get a nostalgia canker? Yeah, I never... I, like I said, I actually didn't play any of the um, humongous games when I was a kid. For unlocking the cage. I don't know. Just probably because A, my parents didn't want to spend money on it, and B, we couldn't... Um, we didn't have friends who had copies. Proud of him not making him... Yeah, proud of them not making him French with that mustache. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. I know a guy named Humongous. Nice. <laughs> it's probably for the best that yeah. Because when we say yeah, there is the the implication of uh, crabs that fiddle. Um, anyway, moving along. So I gotta get this guy a clock. Your apparently. Your bones are over here. Oh, the whale bones, you say? Okay. There certainly are some whale bones. Um. Oh, some bone sharks. Yeah, righto. Look, Luther! 
take the bone. Oh, this one bone we can apparently take with us. Okay. Fair enough. Never want to catch crabs when you're fiddling, that's for sure. Yeah. It's a good way of putting it. Um, bup, 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 bup. Hi. Oh, that's a little creepy. Oh, he pulls weird different faces though. That's still terrifying. It, uh, why am I still clicking on this? Okay. No. Is this all we could do? Couldn't do anything fun with the anchor? Like, you get, you have a point and click adventure game with a fish. You can't use the anchor for anything. It's not an item. Yeah, it's, it's the tribal mask from Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Yep. This is where he ends up. Um, when you lose him. That's right. Because I forgot he gives you an extra hit. And if you collect enough, he, you get the invincibility. Yeah, he just waits around here, terrifying the children. Until someone calls on him. Oh, until Crash summons him, I should say. Right, so nothing else to do in there. We have a lot of items and I guess I'm not really sure what we're meant to be doing with many of these. Oh, no, you're not useless, Anchor. It's alright. You'll always be a part of my inventory, buddy. <laughs> oh, what? That glowing shell sure is bright. I wish I could get some sleep, Freddy. But this shell, oh, it glows all okay. night. It glows all night. I wish I could trade it. Going by this guy's accent, I'm, I'm sure this guy will, um, has plenty of sea urchins to spare. I think I know what we need to do. Let's have a quick conversation, Hi, though. Herman. You look sleepy. Yeah, Why? he's just... I, wish I, could get some I don't know, just chewing on radioactive shell, isotopes in his spare time. It glows times. all day. It glows all night. I wish I could trade it for a shell that doesn't glow. Then I could get some sleep. Well, we just happen to have one here. Herman, I brought you a new shell that doesn't glow. <laughs> look, <laughs> look how dope Dovey looks, Freddy, by the way. Freddy, Freddy, it's wonderful. <laughs> just a second. Oh, he's got to move all his stuff here. No, that's Freddy, fair. Maybe you can use this glowing shell. <laughs> well, hi, um, I got you, some Herman. merchants you can borrow for. Good You'll just need to pay some compound interest. <laughs> Luther, we should hurry up and nice. find the kelp treasure. Um. Come and grab that new shell. Oh, look at these guys. Look at these debut now. boys. Oh, what? Oh, there's an urchin, Found though. Another purple sea urchin. Hey, you're apparently using this as currency, but I can't remember wherefore. Oh, oh. Too much sexy time. Banned from Twitch. Let's have a look, another look. No. Nah. You might as well just leave it open at this point. Stupid sexy fish. Oh, do they? That's all they do. Oh, no, there we go. He goofed that one. <laughs> Any kid would be super chuffed if they had a fort that looked like that fort. Yeah, I know, right? That's a pretty good fort. I was actually looking through that the other day. Um, I found a picture. I don't know if they still sell it. That, um... Because I was looking on Amazon for, um, like, that original 80s-style Lego I used to have. And um, I found a picture of the... Um, uh, I had, like, a... It wasn't a pirate fort. You got pirates, but you got the, um, like, soldiers you used to have in those, like, coastal forts. And they had the exact set I had. So it was, like, a little fort. It had, like, a pulley to bring up your treasure. Yeah, all the little cannons. The cannons were like the little pull ones that fired the projectiles. Oh, it was a bit nostalgic. I did see... The, God, the pirate bloody Lego on Amazon goes for like 200 bucks a set now. That can, that for, could be called the crust station. See what I did there? There is a lot of crust here. I'll, I'll plagiarize Vinny and just say there is some crust. <laughs> Uh, it could be... Oh, 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 that was clever. So what are we doing with the king, though? There's not much decor in this place. Oh, look at this boy, though. <laughs> I'm the Hi, king. king Crab. Greetings, Freddy and Luther. <laughs> I wasn't far Whoa, off on the voice, either. Holy shit. 
Oh, that's a sweet looking... Oh, that's why the pearls are shiny. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Yeah, cool. Um, oh, that was a blimp of some sort, I guess. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, you had the, had the king crab at lab, Red Lobster, hey? Nice. Welcome to my kingdom with all my shells and pearls. Yeah, I haven't but had seafood really for ages, actually. Just because I don't. I, I, I like having meat that keeps and seafood doesn't really do that. Why aren't you I usually treat myself cr around yeah, Christmas time. I'll get like a kilo of uh, prawns. I see. Because that's uh, that's good Christmas fare when it's summer in Australia. You usually have something cold, so you have. We usually do I love all the prawns, hot chips, avocado on like a fresh white roll. Do you think you'd we'll wish do enjoy that. to be a royal fish? To be a real good king or queen, but, um, you should be fair and I'll probably leave. just do ro roast pork like I did last year. It's usually me and my own at Christmas anyway. Beautiful pearls. Yeah, can we have some? Do you some? think you'd wish to be a royal fish? To be a real good king or queen, you should be fair and never mean. Yeah, that doesn't sound like royalty. Prawns, you got a pornography addiction. Like, for, I mean, for the price, yeah. It's, it, we get, I mean, we get pretty good quality prawns. Actually, no, um, because you don't get them, it, it, it's based on the state. Like, when I used to live in Queensland, we were basically, you know, a couple of hours off the, um, the Great Barrier Reef. So it was really easy to get really good quality seafood. You could even just go out and fish it for yourself, like my dad did that a fair bit. Oh, can we annoy this crab now that he's asleep? Aw, oh, that's a shame. Because I forgot about that. I always thought shrimp were just... I thought prawns were, like, the Australian name for shrimp, but shrimp are apparently much smaller. Prawns get a little bigger. Um, alright, so we saw the king... What else? We, we got a glow in the dark shell. Um, what else are we doing? We're back near grandma's. Okay. We gotta find a junkyard here somewhere. Uh, let's try this way. Oh, this is uh, what's going on here? Oh, that's down to the junkyard. We're at the top of the hill. Okay. Okay, that's terrifying. That's even more terrifying. What? Oh, well, this game was for little kids. They're gonna be freaked out by all these jump scares. More sexy fish. Yeah, sure. Okay. What's this boy doing? Ah! We're teaching starfish. Double entendre, shrimp and seafood, and a term for something Your small. Teacher for today. Yeah, 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 that works. Laugh. That works. How hard do you want the questions to be? Give us advance. Yeah. Advanced it is. Plenty of jump scares How in this. <laughs> Too many sexy fish and jump scares for the kids. Eight. Oh, um, oh crap, 94. 94. That's correct. Here's another equation. How much is... 87. You're right. Now High let's fives. try another. How much is... 50. Six plus thirteen. What is it, chat? Sixty-nine. That's correct. Sixty-nine, baby. <laughs> now let's try another. Nice. What is? 50? I I was quiet too, just so you get the clean audio on Freddy Fish saying sixty-nine. <laughs> ah, okay. This is the junkyard. I wonder if we'll find another skeleton that's a Cypress Hill fan. Hopefully. Just... I don't know. I can't remember the joke I made about it last time, but... Because you wouldn't be able to smoke weed as a skeleton. Like, it'd all just blow out through the holes in your chest. I don't know. You could just appreciate the music. You can be a skeleton and enjoy rap music, I suppose. Oh. I guess we can get past him. Jeez, I wonder how we get through here. Oh. 
Okay. That is a dogfish. I'm just clicking on all the other random stuff. Oh, there was like fish in that one. Okay. What's... Oh, oh, he wanted to read. Okay, just wondering what was going on there. Oh, you got a, you got a pretty mouth on you, Ty. There is a lot of banging going on. There's, there's just so many hot spots. And yeah, I love that you can just spam them. Whoa! <laughs> just a, coming out of the thing. Oh man. Oh no, we can't get past. I didn't realize that's another entrance. All right, have a dog. Have a bone. Have a dog. What? Right. Cool. Looks like the coast is clear. Now we can pick up that bottle. Nice. The right. clue says go to the king's castle. The kelp treasure must be really close now, Luther. Is it? Probably got to find some more um. Thingos. Not a oh. Water. Oh, ow, ow. I'm up, Spudgehead. You lost the treasure, so now you got to see the squid father. Sorry, I had a little oh, loose bit of skin on my finger and I pushed it up and scratched my hat. The squid father. Yeah, I want to see the squid hole. Squid father's got a pretty damn good looking lair, to be honest. Oh, here's a clock. Oh, we got some fuzzy, fuzzy dice, though. Ah, okay. Why are there so many frogs in this car? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think that was uh, the best thing going for the humongous games. Like, having the multiple fun hotspots you could just, like, activate whenever. That was pretty good. Oh, another jump scare, though. I guess this kind of works, considering, you know, it's Halloween today. Just the, the level of jump scares just seems appropriate. Now we can trade Ray for his yeah, could have been stinging Luka, the place. Alright, so we got a clock for the, the creepy guy with the trench coat. Who shouldn't be hanging around like child fish, by the way. Yeah, because we watched... Yeah, we watched June 2021 the other day. We were very disappointed. No fade. No sting in his little bikini. Yeah, that's what I presumed he was. Or maybe the shopkeeper from Resident Evil 4 in, in fish form. What are you buying? Um, well that looks terrifying. Whatever the fuck's going on over there. Said see the, the king. Is this way. Oh, we can go to the volcano apparently? Yeah, right. -o. Get through. The gate's closed. I wonder how we can get to the other side. Just chuck a grandma's last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. Hmm. The gate needs to be open more before we can get through. Oh, we. Oh, I thought this was actually currency, but now we're just chucking them in a bucket. Not open enough for us to get through. We're just paying the toll, I guess. The gate's almost open enough for us to get we, through. You, ca you can't fit through there, really. Oh well. Another, another urchin then. All right. Now the gate's open. All right. I remember that was a joke in the um, Discworld game. There was a um, a street urchin who'd like um, teach you how to pickpocket. <gasps> but he's dead. They ask him what his profession is, and he's like, he, he couldn't remember the name Urchin, so he's just like, oh, it's one of those things you find under the sea, starfish? Yeah, that's it. And then when you see him again later, the description on him just said, rather than street urchin, it says street starfish. Although they're a little clever nods, I, I do enjoy the Discworld games. Oh, it's my job. So what are we doing at the volcano exactly? The theater is over here. Oh, we're going to a theater? All right. How fancy. <laughs> this fucking big boy. You gonna? I, I was waiting for him the to stop. The show stars me, Augusto the Octopus. But you can call me Yeah, yeah. Oh god, it's not as bad as Companions of Xanth, dude. 
one of the last puzzles in the game expects you to um pick up a window no you had to pick up uh no no, no that's right you had to pick up a window because the window was a jar so when you go to pick up the window you end up with a jar in your inventory it was slightly open that was that was the, your only hint that's that's still absolutely stupid in my opinion but to be fair the game is like filled with puns and puzzles and stuff like that Welcome, girls, boys, and fish mm -hmm. of all ages to the greatest yeah, show. Yeah, like there's a the sea. shit ton of uh, books set in Zant. Sure to make your and gills there's lots of puns. Delight. There is a shit ton of puns. So put your fins together for our first fantastic performance. Shit like that only means one thing. The dev who did that is either a psycho or on, on so much meth he's basically dead. I'm gonna go with. Because I know the writer of the Zant series is like really fucking old, like most fantasy writers. So it's just, just likes to inundate people with boomer jokes. That's my reasoning. That was Frank the Fabulous Frog. What's Helga up to? I guess this is another optional area as well. What's, we want Helga. Show us the singing mermaid. Orgy. Hey, Freddy! You think we'll find Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds? Of course we will. I hope we find Grandma Grouper's kelp treasures. Yeah, sure you too. Look, oh, I want to see this one. Luke Fisk Bon Bastoven. This sounds pretty good. Oh, you have to click on the actual curtain to see the performance. Righto. Oh, dear. That was cacophonous. Okay, fair enough. Um, the Carpenter Marina? What? Oh, it's spent me spoofing Carmen Miranda. I get, I get it now. He did love to wear fruit on her head. All right. Um, the Flying Carp Brothers. Let's have a look. Oh, I've heard the audience noise dies down. That's a nice little touch. There's nothing amazing about this. You all swim. You're all floating in water that you don't. Oh my god. Alright. What's it? Recital featuring Clovis P. Tortue? Okay. Yeah, fuck these kelp seeds off. You don't enjoy the day of the theater. Get on with it. <laughs> Maybe play on Tata. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Oh, Puffer the Amazing Expanding Fish. This is all for all the fetishists in the crowd. What? Just had to do a quick comedy act. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> this that was comedy plus expansion is specifically my fetish. Bump and gump? What? Oh, just clownfish. Yeah. Yeah, fucking smash the skull in. All right. So the um, varying degrees of quality in these uh, performances. Do we have Frank before though? I think we've gone through the whole list. No. <laughs> Hoisted by his own clammy petard. That's pretty good. Yeah, what's Helga up to though? Oh. Just doing... Wagner again! <laughs> so over Wagner. Alright. And do we see Oggy? Oh, God, my short term memory's shit. Oh, Oggy's a creepy boy. Oh, no, no, he was the one out the front, wasn't he? 
you sh you're outside shilling this theater and that's the best you can come up with, really. Right, no, I've had enough of the theater. Let's get out of here. There we go. Yeah, Wagner is a bit of a punchline. Speaking of more like point and click adventure games, I saw... I've watched through the playthrough of uh, Gabriel Knight 2 and that gets weird. Um, you get turned into a werewolf and to call out the alpha werewolf that you need to kill to save yourself. You have to find a lost no, no opera that Wagner did with the King of Bavaria that somehow activates werewolf transformations early. The and there's like hours of content oh, dedicated to actually Look, getting kids, that sorted out. Why don't you just get out of here before I have to eat you? Who's this boy? You want an urchin? Oh, it's an electric eel? Okay. Um. I don't know if we've got anything we can use to get rid of it. It's a fishing pole. It's a, it's a, it's a fishing pole. Nah, okay. Guess we've got to come back later. We'll go find that uh, dodgy guy and give him the clock, I suppose. And I wonder if Ron Gilbert's involved with this because the music sounds an awful lot like um, the Monkey Island soundtrack. That fishing pole line's giving me PTSD. Alright, I won't spam it. <laughs> oh look, a waterfall! Fucking handler, man. Um, where did we go to find the... what's his face? Um... No, it wasn't at the junkyard, because that's where we actually found the clock. And I don't, I don't want to have to resort to a walkthrough again to, um, to finish this game either. I'm not proud of it when I had to do it for Pajama Sam. Um, they said we could do something I at the, um... Oh, shush you. No, it was where the net was, wasn't it? Oh, no, that's that makes sense. Yeah, we find uh, Dodgy Boy give him the clock and he gives us the gizmo we need to get the pearl. Yeah, so it was over here. Okay. And then I guess the king gives us something for the pearl. What's up, mate? Have a clock. Thanks for the clock. You're welcome, Ray. Now you get the super duper duper booka poly gizmo. Thank you super for the duper duper duper, duper, duper booka poly, poly gizmo. gizmo. What? Nice doing business with you. Yeah, fair enough. I don't see how this thing is gonna get us through the net. <coughs> oh, <laughs> that's how. Really? Was that? That's got to be a sex toy for someone, surely. Watch the pearl closely. Oh, we got to do the shell game. Okay. Where is the pearl? In your face. There it is. You found the pearl. Congratulations. <laughs> Take this pearl. Congratulations. Right. Congratulations. But only one pearl per customer. Thanks. I'll bet King Crab would like this pearl. You're all right. Okay, we got a pearl, so let's go back to the king. Oh, do we... Oh, we canonically keep the gizmo. We apparently need more... have more uses for it. Okay. Um, wasn't anything else over here. Back this way. Uh, and we passed where the king was, didn't we? That's some pretty good music, actually. Because it's almost like a mix between Caribbean and... There's a bit of prog rock in there, too. I do like my prog rock. Right, to the king. To the king. Not you. We're done with you. Enter as you please. Oh, cool. Call that sneeze in time, buddy. Hell, that's probably going to be happening happening a fair bit on streams too. Now that we're getting into summer, I get um a few allergies and shit. Ah, oh, um, guess we replace pearl with bottle. King Crab, may I please have that bottle? 
I would gladly give you this beautiful bottle. But if you would give me a beautiful pearl. Good thing we had had one on a person, isn't it? Ooh! <laughs> what a lovely pearl, Freddy and Luther. <laughs> That's now a good. You may have we, we've found a new bottle. pog champ hey, emote for Twitch. Crap. the next clue involved. Yeah, you gotta polish that, boy. The message says the treasure is hidden in the sunken ship. Oh, Look, okay. Let's go get the kelp seeds at the old ship. I know just where that is. I do hope you'll find Grandma Grouper's treasure. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a catfish as the cat. I That's cool. I clues and bottles so I can find my way back to the treasure. I thought I put the first bottle at the Nexus. Let us in our rep. But, but, the squid father. Oh, it's oh, meant to be intelligible like the be? Godfather. Okay. Come on, Spongehead. Think. The squid father trusted us to hide the stolen kelp treasure for him. <laughs> but, 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 squid father. Oh, no, he's spewing in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, it's in my mouth. <laughs> Come on, Spongehead. <laughs> Fair enough. Look, Luther, the sunken ship. This is where Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure should be. Aye, matey. That old shipwreck has held so many treasures over so many years. We're looking for Grandma Grouper's treasure. Good luck, mates. Is that the only room? That old ship sailed through hurricanes. You were just here for exposition, really? But what are you, anyway? Great cult of Ort 7. I'm, okay, I'm not talking to you anymore. Can we have your thing? Oh, we gotta find him a crutch. I wouldn't need this mandolin. We need a mandolin for some reason? Okay. Go explore the ship, I suppose. What the hell is that? Hey, Freddy, what do you think is behind that window? Look, Luther, Grandma. Oh, Luther's it's the hilt of a. It took yeah. me a second, but yeah, it's the hilt of a sword embedded in a barrel. Luther, Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is for every room to share. And besides, the window is closed and it's much too heavy to open. If we can find the handle for the crank, we could crank open the window and swim inside. Let's go find a crank handle. Fair enough. Can we have the sword? No, the turtle's got it, apparently. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Go back here. What else is on the ship? Um... Hot spots, yeah. Oh, we got a couple of different holes we can go down here, apparently. Okay. Ah, we found a big sticky log. Huh, okay. Arrgh, you one. I'm Phineas McFinn, the finest sailor on the seven seas. Arg. Arg. apparently. Oh, can I play a Jack in the Box? one word that says it all. Arg! Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg! Arg to port. Arg to starboard. Arg from stem to stern. This man lives talk like a pirate day every day. Arg! And a yo-ho-ho hum-hum, my chum. Arg! What's that you say? Arg! I can't hear ya. Arg! One more time. Arg! Right. 10 out of 10, best color. character in the game. In fact, He's even got sandals colors. Arg. Oh, no, me broken. crank. Arg. If you could find old Phineas another musical instrument, I would gladly trade you this useless crank handle. Oh, so we gotta go and get him mandolin. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, alright. Uh, so, we, oh, no, this is back the way we came. I thought I was going the other way. So we could go up 
the ladder, presumably? Yeah, there we go. What was in here? Oh, there's a crotch. All right. That crotch might come in handy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. I do like that, though. Like, I've managed to pick games that's got some Halloween things. Oh, my God. Fatty Bear, though. Yeah, we still haven't played Fatty Bear yet, but he's, uh, he's, a, fr he's a freaky boy. Uh, I love frosting. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I was hoping I'd get some, some sweet boots. This seems to be a pretty ineffective cannon, but anyway. Um, so we can go... Ah, oh, it comes out here. It, like, loops around on itself. Okay. Well, we got what we need to save, um... Save. No. We go over give the crutch to Mandolin Boy. Right. There you go. Would you like this crutch? We seem to have a lot of items that don't really have a function yet, though. Matey. Now I don't need this old mandolin. Would you like it? Yes, please. Thanks. Yeah, cool. All right. Back on the ship. Uh, back to back to best character. Is this meant to be... Oh, no, that'd be tar. Yeah, because if it was gunpowder, that'd just dissolve. Yeah, you gotta stop those planks from leaking on the board. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I thought I'd activated the song again. Finish. Okay. Here's another musical instrument for you. Great. Here, take this crank handle. Thanks, Phineas. Arg! There's just one word that says it all. Arg! Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg! Arg to port. Arg to starboard. Arg from stem to stern. Arg. Yep, I think I found Arg my new, um, Discord, Arg. uh, picture. Ho, ho, hum, hum, my chum. Arg! What's that you say? Arg! I can't hear ya. Arg! One more yep. time. Ten out of ten, best boy. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. In fact, <laughs> oh, and by the way, arg! <laughs> oh, oh, we get some. Oh, wild bunches on. You can eat it or win. Ah, cool. And starring Sam Miller. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so we'll go use. I do like that though. Hey, you like float over the the inventory's like a part of the screen. I guess it's pretty cool. All right, time for a crank. All right. Let's go get Grandma Grouper's kelp seed. Hot dog, I'm gonna be rich! We found Grandma Grouper's treasure chest! Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure! Oh no. Uh -oh. Told you we'd find the treasure, boys. Okay, you two. Hand over the treasure. No. Don't you mean Finn over the Grandma treasure? Grouper's kelp seeds are for everyone to share. But we gotta <laughs> take the treasure to We're the We're gonna rub water. you out, you commie. So we can grow some kelp. If we share the seeds, we can all grow kelp. Share the kelp seeds? Gee, boys. The yeah, they're really not going to do much good just one. sitting in a chest somewhere. Wait, I got an idea. We can share the kelp seeds. <laughs> Great idea, boss. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Let's go tell the squid father we're all going to share. <laughs> just squirts ink on him again. Okay, no, probably apparently... I wonder if that's the case though, maybe... Okay, there's the guy again. You found the kelp no, maybe the puzzles are randomized and... Like we could find them all but they're not used in one playthrough? I'm not really... Not really sure. But they did seem to do that, they did enjoy having their, um... Yay! Replay you value. Found treasure. 
<laughs> they get back to grandma and she's like, you fucking idiots. You just Freddy, spilt all this kelp everywhere. How wasteful are you guys? I was going to sit on this, sit on this treasure for the rest of my life. Fuck I everyone else. Treasure, grandma Cooper. Well, okay, Freddy helped a little, but I figured it out. I was very brave. Oh, I'm sure you were, Luther. Now, can you both help me plant the seed? Yeah, kill. Sure. Yeah! I was very brave, Grandma Cooper. There were these big mean sharks. There must have been 50 sharks. I was dodging left and right, swimming loop de loops. I'm so proud of you, boy. Why don't we go inside? So you can tell me all about your adventure. Alright. That's that's it for Freddy Fish, I guess. We'll get some credits though. Oh look at this creepy boy. Oh no no no. Yeah, there we go. Back with old Rod and Gilbert. I gotta play through the Monkey Island series again. And it's sad too, because I know he wasn't involved with um Curse of Monkey Island which I played a fair bit of, but it was still pretty good. It was a good game. I think that's what it was. Like, um, I guess Monkey Island 1 and 2 were before my time and they didn't do talky versions until the, the reboot. So I just never went to play them. But yeah, Curse was pretty good. 1 and 2 were pretty, really good though. That is true. And yeah, I do like, you can at least, they've got the rebooted version where you can play the whole thing with voice acting. I, I do like that it got a career for um, the guy who voiced Guybrush, uh, Dominic Armato. Oh, and the fa that's why the music's good, the fat man, the guy who does the, um, did the seventh guest soundtrack. Nice. <laughs> oh god. Please were so much fun. Look at all the testers for like a game like this though. That's that's where you get quality though. You gotta have a big QA team. I keep saying that. Oh fatty bear again. Nice. So many piranhas around though. Yeah, I, I think that's what's happened though, because we've made all this kelp, we fucked up the ecosystem. And all the, yeah, all the predators are going to come in. Oh, not much in, oh no. Never heard of those voice actors. Who else we got? Never heard of any of these people. <laughs> what? The ARG song written by Larry K. Copyright Toothsmith Studios. I say credited him, I guess. Can I see it? Oh, there's some pop-pop. Alright, well that's us done. See you next time. Yay. Yeah, let's get out of here. No, that was good. That was actually better than I was expecting, considering that was like, you know, the super baby one. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals.